Well, welcome to the Southern Sun in Pretoria. There's the scenes earlier this evening as the athletes, well, our netball team arrived. Family members on hand to wish the team a good farewell and good luck, rather, to the World Cup down in Australia and Sydney. You can see team members there. I must say, as I was standing next to them, I felt a bit intimidated because, as usual, when you see all these ladies, and they're all tall, <laughs> but most of all, they're going to represent us at the Netball World Cup in Sydney. Thank you very much for joining us right here on SABC News Channel 404. I'm your host, Tabi Sosito. As well, usual, Pearl does not want to come out to these events. She'd rather be in studio. But the night continues as we bid our ladies farewell and good luck this to the Women's World Cup out in Australia. Well, we continue the conversation, and right now I'm going to be joined by, in fact, I am joined by Umama Umalibansi, and she is the sport, arts, culture, and recreation MEC in Gauteng. I need to get that right because normally we'd say sports, arts and culture but I was corrected today but Mama Lubazin says it's actually sport, arts, culture, culture and, and recreation. recreation. Mama, thank you very much for joining us right here on SABC News Channel 44 and Sports Live. Thank it's you. a beautiful evening out there. The ladies have come out. Most importantly, we are saying do the country proud. Go out there and r raise a flag, wave the flag, yes. in particular on Mandela Day as yes. it were today. And it's no coincidence, Tabiso, that we are feeding and we are, we are actually sending them off on the day where we are celebrating an icon. And I think the Mandela magic should actually somehow penetrate through and they should actually embrace this day and take courage that indeed they are being sent off on a very, very special day. We have these young girls who, when you look at them, they are serene composed yeah. and cool and it gives an indication that we are having a medal coming back to South Africa yeah. it's time that we get a medal back not a medal back but at least get a trophy mm -hmm. and actually a gold mm -hmm. a medal that has got to do with gold not silver or bronze because this is the kind of athlete when you looked at them tall strong and eager to to go and show their skill and make South Africa proud my mother, but before we even came before the cameras came to us live we we're having discussion how important it is to support these initiatives especially from your department because South Africa is a very sports mad and hungry country and we look at these goals and all we're thinking you know when you're there on the playing ground there's so much emotion that goes through because government are expecting, but government, the best they can do is look, we'll give you all the preparations, we'll let you have the best facilities as we can provide, just go out there and do it for the country. And I, I must actually give commendation to the Minister of Sports and Recreation, uh, the Honourable uh, Minister Mbalula. Really, he has been very supportive. He has actually infected us as emissaries and made us realize how important this sport for girls is. And we, they have come up in a manner. I, I, I came here to the amphitheater in, in, in Pretoria University last year and saw them playing. But I learned they have really so much improved when they were having the diamond competition out in Devon. That there is that certainty that we are definitely sending a caliber of athletes that are going to make South Africa proud. It is indeed true that sports unites the country, unites the nation and changes the, even the mindset of those who are negative. And indeed, we will be looking at them, looking at the screens. And let me take this, this opportunity to appreciate that uh, SABC has come on board so that we should be able to be looking at them from day one until the end. Mm. And I'm sure even on the final day, we will be looking at South Africa playing. Mm. We want to wish them the heartiest Hardest. No, I don't know what to say. <laughs> the best because of luck, the best wishes yes. and the hearts should all go out with them. And we should then say, even if we are not with them in Australia, the whole nation will be with, with them in spirit, will all be watching and holding our hands mm. and say, go, go girls, go, go girls. They are going to make South Africa proud. Yeah. Netball 
needs to be stepping this country on the plate. It must put us on a map that we deserve. It's high time that we are put up on a map, not only rugby or soccer, particularly rugby or, or and cricket. That's a men's sport mainly. Yeah. Let the girls, let the female sport, the girls bring South Africa onto the map and let's be proud. Yeah. We are wishing them the best of luck and on behalf of the Premier of Gauteng, who's not here, I am going to be telling them that the Premier has sent his regards and he's saying to them, go, 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 girl. Yeah. But they should not remember that we are sending them away on a day that we are celebrating an icon's birthday. Yeah. I'll also be forwarding the best wishes from the from the Minister of Sports and Recreation. I'm here on behalf of the two, the Premier and the Minister, not myself, really. <laughs> Thank you so much. Partner, speaking to us right in SABC News Channel 4 for saying good luck to the ladies, wishing them the best of luck. And in fact, Mam Mulebasi spoke about the importance of incentives, incentivizing these ladies so that they, because it is Deadpool, it is a lady sport, and the minister Mamulibati did say that we need to try and push these girls forward because the whole country, there's a lot of girls sitting out there wanting to be netball stars, yes. and I think that's why the SABC have come through and said, look, with our platforms let's also give some credence and show everyone out there at home that we do have a netball team, they are going to World Cup and with that, I'm going to link to this clip earlier the marketing manager of Spa Group South Africa yes. spoke about these incentives and this is what Mike Prentice had to say for our girls as they leave for Australia. Uh, obviously congratulations to all the girls that were selected. Um, your, your talent and your dedication has now got you to the absolute pinnacle of, your, of, uh, of the sport that you have chosen. But with that comes, comes huge added oh. responsibility. Your, your sporting talent, um, you know in South Africa the, the youth are crying out for role models. And your sporting talent has now given you a platform where you can be a massive positive influence on thousands of young kids in South Africa. And you need to take that quite seriously. At the last three World Cups that SPA has been involved in, uh, we've provided a financial incentive to the teams at each of the last three World Cups. We want to do the same thing uh, for this World Cup. So come home with a medal of any colour and we will pay the team half a million rand. If that, if that medal is silver, hey, I'm not finished, stop. Uh, if, if the medal is silver, we will pay you three quarters of a million rand. And should it happen to be gold, uh, we will gladly pay a million rand to the team. So 